All right, you were on a different kind of assignment, Michael. You yes. went into the world of real celebrity bodyguards, mm -hmm. and I understand, and this scares me a little bit. I'm scared you too. You actually went through the training. Well, Thea, I wanted to know what it really takes to protect these celebrities, you know? <laughs> so only in Hollywood could I go inside the real bodyguard experience. Well, you know, let's, let's do this then. All right, well, let's do this then. Sector three, clear. I thought I knew a little something about bodyguards. After all, I've seen Kevin Costner do it. I remember number one after making that movie, going around the going around the world, and every bodyguard came up to me and said, "We got to start dressing like this." Like uh, Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston in the movie. Like Mike, 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 Mike. This isn't a movie. All right, we're gonna we're gonna be real serious today. Serious, because in Hollywood, bodyguards are big business. Reportedly, some stars spend up to one and a half million dollars a year on private security. I'm in training with the best, Drake and Security, protectors of Fortune 500 CEOs and celebrities. My mentor, a one-time military sniper. You're gonna give a nod to the AIC, which is this gentleman right here, okay? Come in here, all right? Look around. Move in, okay? okay. Then you're gonna move into this area. Step one. Clearing a room. This takes serious attention to detail. This is your current threat, these two doorways mm -hmm. right here. Events like premieres are totally unpredictable, like when an obsessed fan breached security to go after Brad Pitt at the Maleficent premiere. At this level, this is cl you're clear. I'm clear. These are not live rounds, these are training rounds. Okay. okay so no one gets injured when, they, when they're fired. Step two took place at a counterterrorism training center. Bodyguards must have firearms training. And step three, limo alert. Getting in and out of a vehicle is the most dangerous time. Oftentimes, you know, the bodyguard gets caught looking at the person they're supposed to guard, and that's really not what it's about. You're, you're looking at what's trying to happen. There's a lot of things that will take play into how quick you move your, your client from the vehicle to the building or wherever your point of entry is. Okay. All right, you can close the door, and then you can continue on, continue on with Entering that, that door. Do I? Oh, so I don't tap it twice like they do in a movie, like, well, and then it takes off? You do, if you want them to take off without you. This is for real. Let's go! To all you celebrities, if you need a bodyguard, I'm oh your man. Uh-oh. Really? The glasses? Really, Michael Yo? Uh -huh. You're amazing.